hello and welcome back to another video we are going to be painting in my sketchbook again in this video and i decided to do some more bird painting so the last video where i painted birds i was doing my robin sticker sets and um, so i decided to go down that same vein and do some some more british garden birds and i settled on the tit family so that will be blue tits great tits um cold tits all of those tits i'm going to stop saying tits now um and get into it word of warning i have already done two of the paintings and that's because i was filming those for tiktok and i was actually in a coffee shop when i was doing those so i didn't have my camera set up so i didn't film it for a video so there are two birds already done we have a long tail tit here and a blue tit so i thought my next one would be a great tit and i have a beautiful photo of the great tit flying and i think it would just be a really nice and different composition i will be using my windsor and newton cotman watercolors that i have in my etch and mini palette here and then finishing off the finer details with some faber castell polychromos pencils so I think that is everything explained and I think we're just going to get into it and paint some more birds. I don't think I will film the sticker process um, in this video, but um, I thought it'd be nice to just see the rest of these um, birds and to get you a bit excited for when I do my sticker release store update, which hopefully will be within this month. So let's get into painting. Right, so I actually only ended up doing one painting in this video and I, I think it's just because they take me a lot longer than I always expect them to. Um, the amount of detail I end up going into always surpasses my expectations and I end up just spending hours on these on these paintings. So I've only done one, um, so this will be a one of two or a one of three video depending on how long it takes me to do the other two that I had planned. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's... It, it was nice and it was a long process. Um, there was a lot of layers um, and a lot of fiddling about with colours um, towards the end. But um, I decided on this flight uh, in-flight bird reference photo, I found a really lovely, lovely one of, of this um, great tit and I just thought it was something different. My robins are all stationary, the other two birds that I've already done in this little set are all stationary and I thought it would be really lovely to just do an in-flight bird. The only problem with that is the reference photo, the feathers were very much blurred, obviously I don't think that anyone could capture the feathers exactly still as they would be in flight and so the, the feathers were very blurred so I did have to somewhat use some artistic license and come up with what I thought the feathers would look like um, and I think that resulted in my painting not being quite as detailed on those wings and I think it doesn't quite match up with the body as much as maybe some of the wings on the stationary birds would um, but yeah I've, I've really had to try and think of where the darks would be where the feathers would be um, and kind of how they would look in a little bit more detail and, and it did just end up with my painting looking less detailed in those in those wings um but it it was nice it was nice to try something different and not stick to the same old stationary bird and it gave it gave the piece a little bit more um movement i think i think that's what some artists struggle with is getting movement into their art and i think doing a a, a subject that is moving definitely allows that to um be explored and and um be done a little bit better and um, so yeah I started using my Cotman watercolors here I'm just making some really light washes of grey yellow and then my neutral tint to kind of create a warm grey color um, and then I just start applying that in very thin layers and building that up um, I think the thing that takes a little bit more time is the waiting process in between layers um, and I don't I'm not the type of person who wants to be turning on a, a hairdryer every five seconds so I didn't um, I did have to wait in between each of these layers and I think that was definitely a time-consuming process Um I don't know where most of that footage went there the, I think I did a speed up um, filming of the the yellow and the gray and then suddenly it jumped um, to this darker area but yes um, it's very much the same just layers and layers of painting um, 
kind of getting that detail in here. I did go in here with a little bit of too dark of a colour, too pigmented, so I just added where I wanted those darker areas and then um, went in with a little bit of water and just thinned those bits out. Um, <laughs> I use this paint, I've had this paintbrush for years, I think it was my mum's paintbrush, it's a really small paintbrush but it's definitely been sat in water for too long at some stage of its life um, and has bent <laughs> the bristles so um, it wasn't as helpful as it used to be that's for sure so I did end up sw switching that out for a, a slightly thicker paintbrush so I must I must replace that at some point um, but yeah just layering these watercolours up um, trying to get as much detail in there as possible in the watercolour stage just to help me out with the um, pencil stage at the a later time um, just so that I wasn't adding too much pencil texture because sometimes that can take away from from the watercolour side of the painting um, but yeah that's basically the process and then just adding some some highlights with gouache um, and that's that's the the main gist of what I've done I've done this many a time you've probably seen me if you've been watching for a while this is how I work when I do these birds and they turn out quite well and I'm pleased with this one I'm pleased with the way it looks um, please let me know what you think about the wings I'm, that's the only thing I'm a little bit unsure of so do let me know in the comments below um, but I will let you watch the rest of this with some music and um, enjoy the process so thank you very much for watching I will see you in the next video